Now this happened as Abigail was working on another violent story. One teen is in custody tonight and another is recovering after a shooting in Maynard last night. It's the second deadly violent incident in a week involving teenagers in the city. CBS Austin's Abigail Velez filed this report earlier tonight about how this increase in violence is leaving people scared and confused. You really can't escape the violence and it's hard. Gunshots, bullet holes, and fear gripping the Maynard community following a shooting Wednesday night. Maynard police say they responded to the Presidential Glen subdivision in East Maynard for reports of a 16-year-old bleeding from a gunshot wound to the leg. EMS was able to transport him to the hospital where he is currently in stable condition. Police arrested 18-year-old Cameron Ward, and he's currently facing a charge of deadly conduct with a firearm. Police say he's not facing a more aggressive charge because they're still collecting evidence related to who fired the shot that injured the teen. Investigators say several rounds were fired, with some of them hitting homes. I want to thanks to God because, you know, my family are safe, but the, the only thing is my car and, you know, <laughs> crash is... Terrible. Day knows home, car, garage, and window were hit by bullets, with them passing just feet from her family and two week old baby. Multiple firearms were recovered at the scene. This shooting happened just three miles away from Maynard Senior High School, where last week another teen was killed in a stabbing. These past couple months have been like really weird, like with the, all the violence and stuff. The community is still reeling from 18 year old Darren Loving's death, and now they're dealing with the shooting in their neighborhood, both involving teens. We have too many juveniles running around and it's somebody's going to seriously get injured or they're going to die. Maynard Police Detective Marshall Cervix says for the last year, there's been a trend of violence involving teens in Maynard, especially with gun violence. But how are these kids able to gain access to guns? Multiple um, like gun stores have been uh, broken into and a lot of times it's juveniles that are committing the burglaries and they end up with their firearms. Detective Marshall says police can only do so much. Stopping the violence starts at home. Be aware of where your kids are, know what they're doing, who they're hanging out with and you know what they what they have with them. Abigail Velez, CBS Austin News.